Hey y'all, what is up? It is Marissa Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another bullet journal video for y'all and I just want to start off by saying I'm sorry because it's literally January 28th and this is my January plan with me. <laughs> I'm only doing this because of my OCD and I need the month of January in my bullet journal and also my OCD that I need the video in my videos of my YouTube. So when I go back and look, I actually have a January. So I'm not gonna be doing the full month of January or even weeklies at all during this plan with me. I'm only gonna be doing my month at a glance and my actual like big month calendar because I do still use those and I keep track of YouTube videos and all my other like statistics or information and stuff like that and it's just going to be a precursor for what every month is typically going to look like so I did still want to do it for January however this is going to be a shorter plan with me video basically so we're going to get right into that but before I do I was hosting a giveaway and that did close on Friday and I will be posting the winner to this giveaway tomorrow but actually today when you guys are watching this because it should be Tuesday when you're watching this I'm announcing that tonight on my Instagram so y'all should have followed me on Instagram if you entered the giveaway because that is where I'm going to be posting the winner so be sure to go and check that out again you'll be getting a new bullet journal and bullet journal goodies and all that good stuff if you don't know what's in the giveaway and you're just curious you can check out the video my 2019 bullet journal setup I'll link it up above so y'all can go check it out and see what somebody is going to be winning tonight so yeah let's dive right into this super short super sweet January half plan with me all right so I feel like every month I do these I get better and better and I'm so excited for that because I remember my first bullet journal being absolutely horrendous and now I'm getting better and better at realizing what kind of pages I want, what spreads I need, and how I want them to look that fits, you know, my vibe or how my life is actually working. And so with this spread for January, I did get this opening page idea off of something I saw on Pinterest. So again, I will link my bullet journal ideas Pinterest board down below if you guys are interested in checking out where I get any of my inspiration from. But this page is just very simple. I stuck with, you know, the box entry into January, kind of the way that I started out my 2019 setup and my school kind of setup. I wanted to kind of follow this theme all the way throughout my bullet journal. This year I'm really going for that minimalistic, very simple vibe because I've realized that that's what I am and that's what I work best working with and doing. And I'm not a huge doodler. I don't think I'm really good at it and I don't want to fill my journal with things that I'm not good at or else I'm not going to like it and I'm not going to use it. So I'm really going to be playing to my strengths this year and just saying very simple. So the only little embellishments that I've been adding to this January spread is going to be these little flowers that you guys see me drawing right now, which I have on this page and on the next page and one more in my calendar month. And that's about it. I Again, I tried to keep it very simple, simple fonts. That's just basically what we're going for this year. Let me know down below if you guys are more of doodlers or if you like the minimalistic vibe. I'm curious what you guys like to do in your bullet journal, but this is what I've figured out that works with me the most, and so this is what I'm going for. One of the cool things that I'm doing this month in January is doing a Dutch door, and that's basically where you cut out a part of the page so that way you can do stuff on the front and back and open it up and make it much bigger, wider space, and that you have more to look at. And so with this month at a glance, Dutch door, I just cut the page in half that way on the front half I have my month at a glance and on the back I have a shopping list because those are really just going to be list features. I'll just be listing dates that are going on in January and then listing things that I need to shop for and I don't need a whole page to do that. I usually don't fill it up so I decided to cut it in half that way I'm only using what I need to use and that way I open up a bigger space to actually do my big hello January month at a glance and as you see right now I'm doing my to do section my growth section, and my habit tracker section on the other pages. So I really think that this layout works great and I'm probably just gonna continue this every month. Of course, changing the small embellishments of the colors that I'm using, something. But as I learn and figure out what works, I'll change. But for right now, I'm absolutely loving this little Dutch door look and list style and ways to keep track of my statistics and habits and all of that good stuff. So right now, I'm loving it. I am trying to keep track of me taking my daily pills, drinking enough water every day. Um, I'm going to be trying to work out. If you guys watched my New Year's resolution video, then you know that that's something that I am trying to work on this year, is just being more active and more healthy. So trying to keep track of my water intake and how many times I'm working out throughout the month. And also my studying because, of course, in my New Year's resolution video, I also mentioned that I want to get another 4.0. I want to get another all-A semester. So really got to stick up on my studying. And that's basically the only four things that I really want to track this month. Because as you already know, it is January 28th, 29th. So we only really have like four more days of this month. But I am going to go through and fill it in because I do know what I've done. I've kind of kept track on a random piece of paper until I've had a chance to draw this. But 
from moving forward for February, I'll be able to track those four things or add more if needed. But I also have a section to track my YouTube subscribers at the beginning and end of the month as well as my Instagram followers at the beginning of end of the month. I like to keep track of those two. It's really my main social media platforms. But moving on to my big January month at a glance, this is where I keep track of all of my YouTube videos that I plan on doing. And so I just like to have as much room as I possibly can with big boxes. That way I can write in what videos I have planned to film, when I want to film them, when I want to post them what other events are going on throughout my sorority or college life. That way I can keep that in mind so I can decide if I want to film those or if I want a daily vlog. So this is kind of like my YouTube kind of page with the other month at a glance on the Dutch door is more of my personal page, which is why it's only a Dutch door. I really don't need that much room. I personally don't have a lot going on. I'm a very boring person, <laughs> but my YouTube sure does have a lot going on and my sorority has a lot going on. So I try to keep those pretty organized and on this big page. And in the top right hand corner, I just put in a nice quote that reads, if we wait until we're ready, we'll be waiting for the rest of our lives. And I chose that because I did talk to a couple people through recruitment that, you know, talked to me about wanting to start a YouTube channel or just wanting to do things. And a lot of them always came up with some excuses or, you know, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I haven't decided yet. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I'm ready. And I always just told them, you know, take it, go do it. If that's something that you want to do, don't wait. Like, what are you going to be waiting for? When is it going to be the right time? It'll never be the right time. You just have to kind of jump, do that leap of faith and do it. And with recruitment just ending, we just got our new members. I've just kind of been thinking about that because I'm going to try to practice what I preach. And so that is something that I'm trying to share with them, but also share with myself. So I wanted to write that quote in here for January, just because recruitment took up my entire January. If you didn't watch that vlog, I will post it up above because it was so much fun and bid day, of course. This is the final flip through. I actually really like how simple this month is. Of course, I'm sorry that it's only two pages, but I think it's really elegant. I think it's really minimalistic and I think it does what I need it to do. And of course, that's really all I need this bullet journal to do. It's not my doodle pages. It's not for art. It's literally just to keep me organized. So I'm really trying to keep up on that this month or this whole year actually with this new bullet journal is just to make it functional and efficient for me, not for what everybody else or what I think everybody else wants. And that's kind of my goal or challenge for myself and hopefully I stick to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks. Yikes y'all. I am so sorry. I'm editing this right now and all I hear is me flipping through the pages of my bullet journal while I'm trying to do this audio. I did not realize that that was going to be caught but I'm just we're just going to go with it okay so sorry. Well, there you have it. Only two pages. That's about it. Like I said, I'm sorry that it was super short. I'm sorry that I was super late on doing this, but actually, hopefully Friday, my February plan with me will be up. That way I'm back on track trying to get my life together, y'all. Recruitment had me in a rut. If y'all didn't see that video, y'all can check that out as well as bid day because that was super exciting. And we're just doing a whole bunch more fun stuff with Big Littles. And we have so many events coming up, so so many new videos coming. And I'm just really excited for the new year and to get things rolling again. So trying to get back in the swing of things, I do apologize. But thank you for bearing with me. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing down below because we we do a lot of bullet journal videos, we do a lot of college videos, we do a lot of sorority videos, we do a lot of vlogs, we do a little bit of everything, and so I'm sure you like something, okay? Also, if you enjoy these bullet journal videos, please give this video a thumbs up because, you know, it's something that I started on my channel relatively late. Don't really know if y'all like it or not, but I'm gonna keep doing them until y'all tell me you don't. But I appreciate you watching in general, and I will see you next time.